Hey guys, um, had a question come up regarding my test stand setup and um, thought I'd uh, instead of taking pictures just make a quick video and that way I can talk through some of the different components that, that I have on here. So what you guys are looking at is the, uh, this is the latest and greatest so I've made some changes to it. Number one, I've got my, I've got an additional RPM source um, so it's just a meter that's going to be operating um, off the uh, reflective tape that you guys see on the spinner there on the fan. Um, and just uh, zooming back out real quick here, the overall setup here, um, the entire fan is mounted on a bearing surface. Um, so that's probably the best way to get the, the most accurate readings. Coming here to the side, this is where um, all my data is collected. So talking through some of this stuff here, Number one, here is the uh, new um, meter, which will give us voltage, amperage, as well as uh, wattage. And up here is the uh, shunt that is being used to uh, determine all of those uh, values. Um, I've, right now I've got it plugged in with uh, some 10S batteries to uh, kind of demo it for y'all. But um, that's um, this is very handy to have because it will give me the ability to, to take some measurements without having to have the Eagle Tree plugged in. Also, this goes all the way up to 400 volts, which we'll never reach. Uh, the Eagle Tree is only capable of up to uh, 150 amps, and um, I want to say uh, just short just short of 80 80 volts is the maximum it will do. Um, so that's why I needed I needed the ability to measure all the way up to 20s 22s since I'm planning to do that test next and this this device will let us let us do it. As far as accuracy goes, it's just um a little bit off. Um it tends to be I'd have to I'm going to have to get the exact numbers here, but a couple of percentages less uh being displayed on um on this uh device here versus what the Eagle Tree is telling me and what the voltmeter is telling me. So We'll just have to account for it and uh, know that that inaccuracy exists. Other than that, here is my individual cell voltage, which I'm able to cycle through. This thing is highly accurate, so um, it's good to have. Uh, down here at the bottom, we'll have our thrust uh, displayed on this uh, digital display here. And uh, right beneath it is some uh, Eagle Tree uh, data. I'll be using this. Um, for all of my runs to display the airspeed as well as the um, temperature um, of whatever component I choose to measure. So this will be good to have uh, for all of those values. Moving over to the right, I have my uh, manual amp meter here and this lets me do temperature, it lets me do um, current, as well as uh, running voltage when uh, when when the system is up and running, so that this will give me a good uh, good idea of how accurate the reading is. I can bounce the numbers off of this um, to what I'm getting on uh, on this meter. This one is probably the most accurate, and uh, so that's uh, that's the intent with uh, with this guy. So coming back up here, you guys can see I've got my batteries uh, strapped down. This ensures that they don't move. Everything should be nice and stable. And uh, as you as you guys can see, it's not going anywhere. Um, to the back of the fan here, we can see uh, how it's mounted. Basically just using some aluminum brackets uh, to hold it in place. I've got three screws on both sides for a total of six. So that fan is nice and secure. My uh, receiver battery is set up right here. And uh, down beneath the test stand here, that's my... Uh, uh, that's what's giving us the uh, the thrust measurement. So, um, aside from that, I've got my ESC here. This guy's capable of up to uh, 320 amps and 22s, and I don't think I'll ever be needing anything greater than this for my bench testing, at least. Um, here is the uh, Eagle Tree. On top of that, this is just all the uh, wiring that runs to the back of the motor. Uh, the clear tubing here that's for the airspeed sensor and then obviously all the wiring for the motor, the temperature sensor, and so on. So I um, think up next what I'll do is I'll just do a quick 
run up here. Um, these batteries are not charged. I just want you guys to get an idea of the uh, difference in um, in the values for the current um, as well as voltage uh, between the three devices here. So keep an eye here, uh, up here, as well as here uh, to find to see the uh, the difference. Okay, so that should be uh, good enough to at least take a look and see how accurate or how, how each value compares. Uh, to be honest, I didn't see a huge difference between the three yet. We were off by uh, maybe just a couple fractions of an amp, but uh, um, so it's not as bad as I had uh, initially thought, but obviously won't know exactly uh, until I do a full up uh, run here one of these days. And uh, obviously that'll all be on, all be on video. Real quick, uh, just switching to the front here to show you all the uh, RPM reading. I, think I need to reset it. Okay. There you guys have it. And that value uh, for the RPM, it is uh, pretty much exactly what I get on my Eagle Tree. So I know both of them are matching up uh, pretty well. So there it is. That's the uh, overall setup. And um, we'll see how it works out when it comes time to do some actual testing with it. But I think uh, we will be uh, pretty, pretty well set up with this. All right, enjoy the video.